Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Portal Masters of all ages. It's Brylander with Portal Power TV, and we are back with another episode of Skylanders and Reimaginators. Um, Brylander creates, and we've got kind of a no more of an update video. Um, my last Reimaginator video was Thanos, um, uh, kind of in honor of the um, Avengers Infinity War movie coming out, and you guys apparently really like Thanos. Um, so far, I think uh, in just at a week, I've gotten over 15,000 views, which for a, a, a small channel like mine uh, is, is quite a bit of views. Um, and uh, so in that video, um, I showed off at the end of the video, and if you missed it, there'll be uh, more than likely at the end screen, there'll be a, a link uh, to that video as well as in the description below. But um, toward the end of the video, I showed off some of my past Reimaginators uh, a bunch of the Marvel characters that I did that happened to also be in this movie, but I did miss one, and I'm going to show him off at the beginning end of this this video. Uh, but in that video, I showed off my Captain America, uh, which was more of the uh, comic book original comic book version. So, um, and I realized, well, you know, Captain really doesn't look like this anymore. Should we do an update? Should we update him and, and look new? So that's what we're going to do in this video. So it's going to be a little bit shorter because I'm not having to do the full creation. I'm actually going to take my original. Um, Captain America uh, creation crystal uh, that I've got the the comic book version of it and we're gonna put this on the portal and change him um, and that's the neat thing about these is because when you make a character you can always update them at any time you want while on the fly or, or just at any point and, and save them that way so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put Captain America on the portal so let's go ahead and just get right in we're gonna put Captain on here I live for as you can justice. see, this is more of a comic booky version of Captain America. You know, the original full color, bright red and blue suit. And um, we're going to let's just take it straight into somebody call for a hero. This version here, and so you guys can get a good feel for what Captain America looks like as a Skylander, Skylander Imaginator. But uh, Cap looks a little different these days. For one, he's kind of quit wearing his hel his his helmet. Uh, slash mask and so that's one of the first things that we have to do is we have to take that off so we're gonna go ahead and take it off and go to the head and I have found that with Infinity War that head right there most is appropriate the hipster head of what he looks like so and of course with that um, his ears are no longer gonna be the, the little wings that we were using to symbolize uh, the little we, ears that were on there. We're just going to go for rounded nice. ears and kind of go there. Uh, but then we have to recolor it. And that's really the only things we have to change on here to make Captain America more of the modern style is because he's still wearing an outfit similar, but the color change have changed. So part themes, the first things first are the head. And of course, we're going to want more of a flesh tone for him here. And I believe... Uh, I think... This gives him like blush, so we'll give him a little bit of color, but maybe like right there. And then, but as far as the blue goes, I believe kind of a color like that, not quite blonde, but not quite dark is a good color. And, and then down here, the blue, I think is showing just his lips. This is just the lip color, so. We're just going to give him kind of just there. So, um, other than that, we're going to change his ears to that same flesh tone that we use so they match. And as far as his style, that's pretty much it. Now, the color changes completely on the chest. So, basically, it's our blue and our red that have to change. Uh, and even the white a little bit. We're not going to leave the white as bright white. Um, everything was more darkened uh, than everything else. So we're going to darken both the red, the red, white, and blue. And we're going to change his, uh, this to our flesh tone. Because that's his neck. But then our blue, um, we're going to darken it up to almost this grayish uh, blue here. And then our white, I'm going to take it up to this shade up here. And then our red, we're going to take across the board to the more of this burgundy color. And if I finish that up on every, the arms and everything else, uh, just take every color that I already had 
and change it um, to the new color scheme and go down to legs and of course the backpack will leave alone because the the shield does does maintain or did maintain its primary colors uh, but this blue and the red actually in his pants um, it did go down and turn into more of just the blue there and that was pretty much it so from a cap point of view that's really the new color scheme so what do you guys think this looked more like our modern day Captain America um, that's pretty much what I did for that and so down on screen Dude, we're back. Whoa. whoa changing his head obviously gave to change my voice so I'm gonna have to go and change Okay, maybe just a few tweaks. I'm not even sure what I had it on there originally. I live for justice. Well, we're gonna take this back to what I, I'm sure was. I live for justice. That's good. I, th I like the what I had there. I live for justice. There we go. And I don't think I had any. Game on. Yeah, there's. Somebody call for a Some hero? type of sound effects and stuff, and I, I don't use that anymore. They just get in the way. There we go. So let's go and do a quick surprise attack. Surprise let's attack. Do this thing. And you guys look at this and see if it looks a lot more like modern day Cap beating up the baddies. Do I have Megaton Punch? Megaton Punch. Megaton Punch. In your face. Anything where we can throw our shield around, that would be awesome. But that's not one of the uh, weapons or power ups or things that the Skylanders imagination is looking for. The Skylander. So, anyway, and we can't be ooh, perfect again. We're just kind of toying and throwing something that the Skylanders or Imaginators was not designed to do uh, and uh, trying to make it mimic, I can't say mimic reality, uh, but uh, mimic other uh, characters. Bazooka weapon. A lot of people say, well, why don't you make your own characters instead of just trying to do other characters? And the truth of the matter is, I've actually done several uh, uh, original uh, characters in, in my Skylanders Imaginators. Um, I have, of course, one that I called Brylander, um, and there is a video, a link to that video below. I did one called Legenda. Uh, I used a legendary uh, creation crystal and called her Legenda. And then let's see, there was one more. Oh, Lightspeed. I had a swashbuckler um, character uh, that I called Lightspeed and kind of made him a very fast uh, character and so forth. So forth. So I've made at least three original characters. Um, and other than that, I've just been finding a lot of fun and trying to see how close to other characters, you know, our, our popular pop culture uh, superheroes or things like that I could do with, with Skylander. So. Anyhow, guys, uh, that is, I guess, it for this video. Let's do his new, um, what do we call this? Our magic moment. We'll take him off the portal. And back on. So now here's Cap. I live for justice. What do you think? Like the new color scheme? Looks much more modern. I, I, I think it does. It looks great. So, anyway, that's it. And I guess if you guys want the chirp of this, I can go ahead and do that, too.
Okay. Have to sometimes be silent, make sure it doesn't interfere. Um, if you guys are not familiar with what that is, if you're kind of new to the, the channel, um, I just chirped out uh, a sound that if you have a the Skylanders Creator app in either your iPhone, Android device, or iPad or whatever, and you there's a way to turn it on to listen at that sound, and when it listens, it'll actually download the character as I made it into your device, and so you can look at it carefully. Uh, figure out how to then turn around and use it as kind of like your menu for creating it yourself in Skylanders Imaginators or uh, tweak it up and just tell me how you could uh, come back here and reply and tell me how you could actually make it better than I did so anyhow all those things are fair game uh, but let me think what are we gonna do next I know I want to make some more Imaginators I've got Black Widow on my list of course originally I had her with red hair and now in the new movie she's got blonde hair who, who would have thought that um, but let's see, there's some other characters I need to make, so I'm gonna get busy. I'm gonna get, while this video is posting, I'll be working on some of those other Imaginator videos. So, anyhow, guys, I appreciate you so much, as always, for being here. This is Barry Lander with Portal Power TV, signing off. Take care, and God bless. <laughs>